What up, y'all? It's Terrence J. Right now, you're checking out Baller Alert. Now, every day of my life, I ball. Actually, the gym I go to is, is right in this little cul-de-sac. Yeah, Hollywood. Look out the window, see a big building. <laughs> see no That's trees. No the, the, the shot, you know what I'm saying? Get my executive <laughs> on. You got a good show idea, you bring it here. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Paigeon live on Baller Alert, and I got one of my faves over here. They were like, we're going to do a one-on-one, -on -one, and it's with Terrence J. So, this is family. Oh, absolutely. We go way back. I'm so proud of you. I've been watching your clips on Baller Alert. I'm a big fan of you and, of course, Baller Alert. So, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. This is 106 family. But, you know, your big boss over here, MTV, oh. VH1, you're doing a lot of things. And um, you got a brand new show. Yeah. That's coming Wednesday. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Are you the one? I'm excited about that. I actually, I saw the first episode. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I did. I, will. I haven't seen the, the cut yet. How is it? Is it good? <laughs> it's no? good. I enjoy you on this. You, you like me on there? I'm killing? Okay. Good. Great conducting. This has been good. Tell us about the show, though. All right. Um, so this this is a different show for me. You know, I haven't done one like this. Um, 22 singles that are looking for love. Uh, and the show has designated their perfect match. So matchmakers, friends and family have chosen the perfect match for each one of them. So the question is, if, if your perfect match was right in front of you, would you be able to identify them? And so that's the whole name of the game. If you can find your perfect match on the show, the whole house wins a million dollars. If not, you all go home with nothing. So the stakes are high. Okay, so I had the cheat code. I watched it, and I'm like, what alliance would I try to be? I need, but it's hard to do that because you guys have something, uh, the truth booth. Yeah. That makes it kind of difficult. That, yeah, so every episode, where you, you're able to s send one couple into the truth booth, and it lets the house know whether they're a perfect match or not. So the name of the game is, if you if you get it wrong and you're not a match, you should stay away from each other. But if y'all are sleeping together, if y'all are hooking up, if you like the person, sometimes they stay together, and that's what really brings the drama. You know what, in the beginning, this kind of reminded me of... Like when you first go off to college in the, the dorms, yeah. <laughs> it was like everybody on here is wild. Yeah, they all sleeping in, on cots in the same yeah. bed by each other. Yeah. Everybody smashing each other. It's crazy. Yeah. Out the gate. I was like, this is episode one. <coughs> Out the gate is popping from, ep from the beginning. Tell us a little bit about the cast, though. Yo, so th this is the most diverse cast. It's really always important for me, anything I do, uh, to have diversity in it. So this is one of the most, this is the most diverse cast in Are You The One History, people from all walks of life. So you got players, you got, you know, uh, engineers, you got potential rappers, you got girls that are looking for love, you got guys that are looking for money, you got everything. So I know on... Um some of their interviews and like all through the casting they were like well you know I try to find love on Snapchat and then you know the next thing he wants is a picture of my boobs what do you think especially for millennials um, is it difficult to date now because of social media hell yeah now you can order somebody like a pizza yeah. you know in, in the 1800s you had to write a letter and ride your horse to go see the woman of your dreams now you can just turn on you know to go, to log into the gram see something you like Snapchat them and boom so this is the first time for a lot of them that they've had to have meaningful conversations. And that's the difference is, you know, if you meet somebody in L.A., say you meet a, a, a guy, you take him out on a date tonight after this interview, right? You might not see him again for another week. There might be movies involved, might be dinner. By the time you actually get to talk, talk, it could be a month that goes by. Here, you're thrown off. Everybody's in the same crib. You got to build meaningful relationships. So, you know, we really have some emotions flying on this show. And then you put them through like little tests as if love is already like not that difficult, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's that like? Every episode there's a challenge. I'll set a challenge. So they might have to, you know, shoot a bow and arrow or go hunting alligators. Like there's all types of different challenges that help them get closer and uh, have to bond. And, and like I said, this is the wildest season yet. Yeah, it, it looks like, like I said, it was college all over again. But do you, do you believe in love at first sight? You know, I, I believe in lust at first sight. I think you gotta, you know, really spend time to get to know somebody to make that deep connection. You know what I'm saying? Like in a relationship I'm in right now, we took a long time before we had sex, you know, and that's why it's it's been able to be a better thing because you gotta really take time to get to know people. 
by the way, she's gorgeous. You guys are just such a handsome couple. Thank you. Have you found the one? Yeah, yeah. Cheese, I love it. Stop. So you know what? That means that I have to put you to the test because you're like the love guru. You found the one, and uh, see what you got. Do's and don'ts. What do you think about sliding in the DMs? Slide. I mean, I, I think you you do it because that's how people date now. That's how you got to make the connection. You know, you don't if you feel like the person on the end of that DM could be messy. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to be careful how you do it. Sending nudes through Snapchat. Absolutely not. I'm not a fan of sending nudes. I'm not even a really fan of, I, I don't want to receive nudes on Snap. I, I just think it's too messy. You know, I think when when all of us have, you know, kids and, and want to, when you want to run for governor 20 years from now, you know what I'm saying? I think you just got to be really careful on, you know, what you put out there. So, yeah. You guys had a lot of work on your hands because it was a couple contestants on this show. I was oh, like, everything's in the. I know, I know. It's all there. It's all there. Linking up after the club. I mean, listen, I don't want to be on here saying things that aren't part of, you know, that I haven't done. So, I mean, you know, it, like, look, I'm about being young and being free and having fun. You know, it's just being responsible, you know what I'm saying, and making wise decisions. And, and you know, I'm 35 and, you know, I haven't had any, well, I don't want to say that because then you jinx yourself. But you just want to be responsible, you know what I'm saying, just make sure you're really responsible. Telling your ex drama in the very beginning. I saw a lot of that in episode one. Telling your ex drama. You know, I don't. I I try to wait a little while to do that. I think that sometimes we, you know, we fall on our crutches of our past relationships, and and instead of like really exploring, you know, what could be out there. Yeah. So I try to stay away from that. But you know, it, it's it's hard to break those old habits, especially for these these daters. They're terrible at dating. They're really bad. It's a, but, yeah. it, but it was entertaining. So, um, what do you think about talking, discussing your family? Yeah, family is good. Family is, is essential, you know what I'm saying? Like, I come from a really small family. I don't have any family, really. I have my, my mom and my stepdad. I don't have any biological siblings. I don't have any cousins um, So that, that I'm close with. And so, yeah, if a woman wants to marry into a guy with a big family, I might not be that perfect guy. So it, it is important to discuss those things, you know, early on. Let me see. Discussing your weaknesses and strengths. I think sometimes in relationships we kind of find out... You, yeah, you can kind of use that to your advantage. You're like, oh, well, this is not what they're good at or what they like. So then you try to, like, alter yourself to fit that. What do you think about discussing that like, in the very beginning? Yeah, you know, whenever you try to alter yourself in a relationship, it normally doesn't go well, you know? Like, whenever I, I give the fake, you know, facade version of myself, I usually fall apart, you know, three or four dates in because you just can't keep it up. So it's important to, to, to be you and be authentically you from the jump. You know, so if I if I meet a girl, for instance, and, you know, she smokes cigarettes. Right. I'm just not a big fan of cigarettes. Right. So even if I really want to smash, I'm not going to, you know, be like, nah, that's cool to do it in the house. I'm going to be like, yo, we either, you know, you either got to smoke them when I'm not around or whatever, because that's just not what I'm a fan of, of smelling. Right. So you just got to got to really be honest, because if not, if you if you lie too much to get what you want, it's, it's going to fall apart. Good, but you, are, you know what? This is working for you. Hey, Guru. You do a couple things like a man movies. You, you're a relationship expert, right? You start making it happen. So, you know, we got to ask this baller alert. Is there any wedding coming soon? Can we get an invite? We're just, she's in uh, in London right now. We're working, man. I'm so proud of her, dude. She travel. We have jets and planes. You probably got jet. We got we to gotta figure out. The schedules are crazy right now. The schedules are crazy. So, no, no wedding just yet. Schedules. But we found the one. No, no wedding plans yet. We're just, we're, we're, we're working. I'm so proud of her. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So congratulations to the both of you. And I'm so proud of everything you've done. I know um, just a conversation, like back in 2005, yeah. you were homeless. Yeah. And now they were like, Terrence is up in his office. Yeah. It's going to come down. I was like, yo, I'm really, really proud of you. Oh, and then Safe Work. Yeah. It's back for another season, right? Um, have we announced that yet? I don't, know if we, I don't know if we've announced uh, Safe Word, but I, I got to say, man, it did so well. 
and I'm so excited about it. Schedule is, is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm off to shoot another show in a couple weeks. But, you know, my career is, is an example of, you know, just perseverance. You know what I'm saying? I, I've never, I'm aware of, of, of who I am. I, I know, you know, people call me, you know, corny or goofy or, and, and you know, I'm, I'm not the, the, the best looking. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the, the funniest, right? But I work harder than anybody. And I persevere harder than anybody. And I don't take no for an answer more than, than anybody and so you know i'm a firm believer you, you hang around the barbershop long enough you're gonna get a gut right and i'm still here because i you know because I, I i i make sure i put my feet down and i'm not leaving you know and for anybody out there that's aspiring to be in this field or any field you you know it's, 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 it's either kill or be killed and and i'm not gonna be the victim so i just think um yeah it's safe word is, is, a, is a hot one and uh you know a lot more to come i'm just getting started well thank you so much for kicking it with baller alert Absolutely. and i'm gonna be on the lookout for all the shows reliving my college days are you the one now, every day of my life i'm bomb oh, 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 oh.